in this game, loss of soul is an acceptable circumstance. Yes. Well, that's more hype. It's, it's a sacrifice we're What's willing the to other make. One? <laughs> you know, I have a feeling that hype would come at the cost of more soul. So head to the lake. What do you care about asbestos? You're a ghost. On a hot sunny day like this, I like to visit. It's perfect for way to beat the heat. It's a perfect place to see hot friends in swimsuits. Oh yeah, Francis says about about that other whole time. No, nope, definitely not. <coughs> anyway, what do you want to do now? You're here. Oh, there's drugs involved. Is there? Yep. I mean, time Paul to go swimming. Here. Time to go <laughs> swimming. You must get in the water when a loud whisper stops you in your trucks. Oh, God, it's them again. It's the lifeguards. Hey, long time no see. What brings you guys to the lake? He wants to go swimming. You can do that at the lake, right? <laughs> oh, see, you can, bro. I don't even know how to swim safely. Hmm. Okay, how do we do that? Um. Uh, is it a good time to mention I don't remember how to swim? Damn, dude, we totally forgot. Anyone got any ideas? Hmm. I know you shouldn't eat beforehand. Move your arms and legs around. Avoid wearing heavy stuff that'll drag you down like metal or stone. Oh, balls, I met a stone. You think that's why I lost my job as a as a lifeguard? I assumed it was because you were coked out of your mind. That makes sense. Must be why I got fired, too. I'm usually pretty stone. <laughs> but you guys aren't made of stone or metal, so you're safe, I think. Have fun out there. Huh? Are you sure that all it takes? You haven't told us any arts will tip to so swim safely first. Oh, uh, fair enough. I'm getting nervous. I'm sure you can get something in my life bad bag to help you swim. Whoa. But then again, have a lot of random sitting there. Does any of you have seen helpful for swimming robot? Honor. A very small, intense uh, swimming. Swimming looks at that. That's as harsh as he's kawaii. Ha! <laughs> I need to wash my mouth out now. Life, <laughs> life insurance, just in case. A pair of bright arcane armbands that allow the use of the cast of villain flo floating spell. I ain't wearing floaties. Let's go with the otter. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. How can how harsh can one this otter be? You think it can be harsh and cute at the same time? You sort of bags. I can't cut your multitudes, rookie. I'll show you how tough I can be. The swimming sets are so intense. You're probably kicking, paddling, driving, diving, washing the sensei's car, peeling potatoes. Okay, not to be that girl, but I don't see how preparing lunch is going to help with swimming. Don't cross me, Rocky! Potato peeling is the best way to train your body for the water. You're probably peeling motion, strengthen your palms and flanges so you can carve a path through the to toughest riptides. Fair enough, but what about the car washing thing? How will that help us swim? Show me wax the car. Wax on, wax off. Um, okay, Mitty, I was just taking advantage of you. But do you know how it is to wash your dirty car when you're two feet tall? It is a fair point. You lose three stamina for training, but, you, but you, when you start training, it should be easy. Who knew swimming so much in had to come with pota pe peeling potatoes? Lantern, I mean, you, Lantern, can you confirm? <laughs> I mean, if cooking is the same as banging rocks together, <laughs> that that's a good point. Totally <laughs> uh, at work, Lantern is screaming. I don't know why, <laughs> but he knows who's responsible. <laughs> Nobody, probably, because it makes no sense. But here you go. It's my work, pupils. The instructor says, "I'm actually retiring, knowing that I'm molding you sad sacks into spectacular swimmers." <laughs> Like a million, though, dude. You want a snack before I put you back in your travel case for nappies? 
Yes, of course, a couple of more milk and possibly a bedtime story before I retire to my slumber. Can do. You put your strokes to bed. I can't play plus three hype from swimming in the lake. That went well. Yeah. Just choose one thing. You can do it. Uh, do -do. Okay, we need yeah, I think you need more of those, and I need to talk to Polly up there. To Polly! Let's ask about the search for an apartment. <laughs> That's usually a horror story. Yeah, I've been looking for an apartment with Scott. Dammy might join us, but who knows. But for now, it's just me and the good boy. But wow, looking for an apartment has been a trip. Even weirder than this one. Really? We're setting a high bar, so it must be really weird then. Absolutely. The prices, the conditions, the people. Okay, listen to this. There was this one apartment where the owner required us to join his reggae's band to rent from him. And another one who strictly forbade us from consuming ketchup while renting. Ketchup? But, uh, why? It was a matter of principle, she said. Still no idea what the fuck that meant. It was also the one without a bathroom that offered to sell us a shit bucket separately. Well, crap. A shit bucket. Yeah, and still better than a basement we found that was being rented out. Let me tell you, that basement was either used for sexual reasons, criminal reasons, or both. Dang, girl, this is truly a whole parade parade of yikes. Except for yikes. Wow, I need to share that. Good old venting. Long story short, finding a good apartment for us to rent is taking some time. But hey, it makes the journey more entertaining. I'm sure we'll find the right place eventually. <laughs> yeah, you got this. This is going well. I'm okay. Also, if it wasn't for Scott, probably could have uh, done with the apartment without a bathroom. Huh? Okay, we got one of Coven Mean Hope. Who does news magic became either money, mind, or hype? Could be useful. Oh, we got Finn, who you get a resource gain unless copying the ones from your last location turn. Yeah, let's go with the witch. Bye, Vicky. Bye. Hey, Hope. Sure, I'll come with you. You need a little hope on this road trip? And I'm sure there's always going to go, oh dear god. <laughs> Mostly lantern. <laughs> You're definitely a little hope, haha. <laughs> Don't push it. So our magic isn't that high, but hopefully we can find some place to fill that up. I get it. What is a quantities event? I think that's the one where it's the one with the basically looks like the uh, traffic sign with the V marks on it. Hmm. Yeah, let's just see if we can get a trinket that gives money. Come on, you can do this. Oh, definitely not. Ooh, no. You got an easy one there, though. Oh, yeah. Randall? Sure, I'll try for a bit. Uh...
Damn it, Polly. <laughs> I'm a psycho. No, actually, it's just my intuition. Hey, you're just blah, blah, blah. Do you, are you aiming for hype? Blah, blah, blah. Lucky events to go up. Another layer for that. Does anyone want to go sweet? Yes. We don't need much hype. Nope. The hype is real. Welcome to the Animal Sanctuary where it has petting zoo where there are dogs, cats, goats, bunnies, and alpacas, ducklings. Don't be shy. Not the alpacas! Tough as you had to see so many animals being loved and cared for. So you remember this house and there was a fellow you. What do you want to do? Preferably not get headbutted by that goat. You know, there's always one option to go for for this. <laughs> You're checking the place out. We'll be snoots with all sorts of cute critters. When you want your familiar face. Hey. Oh. Hey. Are you guys volunteering at the sanctuary too? Hello! Hey, Faith. We'd love to. Do you have any animals that could use some volunteering friendship? Sure. Why not just spend time with old Major? He's getting up there in years and could use the exercise. Oh, well, you get that reference. Woohoo! I love you, old Major. Let's play Fetz. One last. One, one last. The duck bug has to throw the frisbee. Polly, you can brush Annie the alpaca if you want. She's a very sweet girl. Mama like it. I'd rather brush your alpaca if you know what I mean. You're related to Amber from Fire Emblem Engage, aren't you? Uh, I'm just gonna guess it's a sex thing. It's usually a sex thing with you. I'm not gonna bother with the warning, warning, warning screen. It's gonna be a raven after that, that's a big enough. <coughs> you said it, Blackjack. <laughs> Blackjack, you're not allowed to pet the alpaca. <laughs> He would shot. probably make biscuits on it. Well, I'm kind of working right now. Maybe you can brush alpacas when I go on break. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah, boo! Text me when you're free! And you, Raven. What if you hang out with Colonel Grumpo? Faith says she's the ugliest, gulpiest cat you've ever seen. Cats at Falanges, this one will definitely be giving you the finger. Hmm. Colonel Grumpo was rescued from a really bad situation. He has trouble trusting monsters, but I promise there's a sweet boy under all that radiating hate. Have fun. Great, Scott, you get, Scott gets to play Feds. Police having car sex while you're stuck with the Wills and Minis cat. Oh, maybe it will be okay. Wait, what did... Call a group up to steal your wife? How? If you see him move, you better get on the cat's good side before he does anything worse. He's been learning from Finnegan Fox, I see. Mm. The only option ever go for this one. So, call <laughs> Grumpo, you're the real deal by giving what the cats want a chance to drive a Ferrari. Toon says no! <laughs> it is time to take. It's time it takes you to convince a hotel rental well, to company to give you a Ferrari despite your humble driving record. Your friends have returned. <laughs> hey, have you seen the, the guy? Seen, have you guys seen the car in front of the grumpy cat driver's seat? So cool that letting underprivileged animals work for Uber now. I think it's been chased. Wait, is Colonel Grumpo in that Ferrari? Raven, are you letting a cat drive? That's so dangerous. Hmm. Meh. I'm not pressed. I'm dead anyway, so who cares? Let's go for a ride with Colonel Grumpo. But. Let's do it. I have no sense of danger. A cat chaperone's chauffeur sounds cool. I see no problem with this. Grumpo Kitty, take us any away. You hop in the cow, Colonel Grumpo, and let him drive you into the sunset. So, this is a regular thing with you, Raven? Every time you want to cheer a cat up, you let it drive a Ferrari? Yes. Yes, I do. Pretty much. Nice. Cool, cool. I know sticking my tongue out of the window. You're the best reckless driver ever, Colonel Gumbo. 
Well, at least everyone's wearing their seat belts. That makes me feel marginally better about this extremely unsafe situation. Give him a few extra white hairs, but your joy ride is success. You can see Cook see a small smile on Colonel Grumpo's face as he snoozes snoozes on the drive steering wheel. You lose four money, but gain four so. What a plot twist! Yeah, we got some of the money back. Yeah. And there's post apocalypse settlements. I'm not sure how literal they're going to take that. Now we have Circus. <laughs> we can finally be clown without anyone noticing. <laughs> yeah, I don't think us. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Ooh. What are the choices back at Metal? Uh, unknown, unknown. Do some. Yeah, but it looks like. Yeah. And given we're at nine stamina, I think we have no choice but to go to the circus. Yeah. I'm... That's. Yep, let's head towards the circus. Let's all go to the I'm... circus. Finally, some respite from some wacky stuff. Bonnie! <laughs> <laughs> you drive past Suzanne and Whiskey, wiping grease off their arms outside of old, old car mechanic shop. You pull over to say hi. Hey, bro. Hey, bro, what are you up to? We're working on a bumper car to enter in the actual Bumpin' Uglies tournament. It's a whole new Who Holds Bard Knockout Battle Royal Hell Knife Land every year. We're gonna fucking crush it! Especially with my credible misdirection strategy. Those amateurs won't even know what hit them. Nah, fuck misdirection. The best strategy is to crash at everyone else first and hard. Suzanne, I don't know if bumping uglies is the right place for a full frontal assault. We should play defensively. I know you'd rather take the thrill seeker route, but the only thrill I seek is the thrill of victory. What's the point of even bumping uglies if you're not willing to play hard and dirty and possibly kill your partner? Because I'm your partner and I don't want to die. I don't see the point. Ugh, that non-team player thing is exactly why we haven't set on a final design for a bumper car yet. Mm -hmm. You know, Surratt's got a lot of experience butting in on other people's problems. I bet he can help you pick a final design. How much of that is on his own fault? <laughs> sure, why not? Which design do you like the best, Surratt? Oh, God. Eels! <laughs> We're going with the eels! <laughs> uh, yes! I knew you'd appreciate my genius, Surratt. So the strategy is just eels? Eels. No, even better! The strategy is lots of eels! My hovercraft is full of eels! <laughs> <laughs> I just don't see how that'll work against a bumper car with actual weapons. Dude, you're thinking too hard about it. Who needs weapons? Well, we've got fucking eels! We're having feels about the eels. Next on Nightland's 12th annual Bumpin' Uglies tournament, a team of bungees are competing in the bumper car, bumper car battle royale. Someone's coming on your right, says one man in the harpoon. What's that weapon? I can't tell from here, says the one driving. Let's have like throwing something. There's, it's it's a black cat. They're stealing <laughs> our muffins. <laughs> it's your fireballs. It's usually fireballs. No one has an imagination anymore. No, it's not. It's still the black cat. And it's also some kind of slimy ropes. Oh, wait. It's... it's Fuck yeah! Get healed, bitches! Quit jumping, Suzanne! You're gonna spill the eels! Susanna took some eels to the Banshees. They get, let's go to the full out of the bumper car. Allow Whiskey to win them over. Nice. Plus three high for picking such an incredible strategy, but using a bunch of eels to massacre people at a battle royale isn't very eel friendly. You lose free soul. 
That's fine. So that worked out. Yes. Yeah. You pony salt, salt, Scott. Grab some pop. Pop on ahead to your seats to watch the circus. On the way there, the ring lad, ah, ring leader runs up to you. Hey, he whispers, I surely lost some of my performance to a soup related incident. We're going to try to find clothes in the eel shop, you know, soup shop. I just oh. des desperately need to act to cover them. Then I thought, if I want to check with the audience on my bump, I shall train performers willing to join us. The rationale of this man is quite questionable, but you're born to embrace nonsense. So you tell him you are circus performers. Oh god, I'm a mime! No! <laughs> Fantastic. What sort of that can you do? Uh, let's see. Ooh! I believe this is uh, what you're after. Yep, let's go ahead and. Why don't. Yeah, let's go ahead and try it. I don't think I actually picked that dare, but let's see what's going on. Yeah. You and your friends sign up for the acrobats. It might be dangerous, but today you. It's in the day danger suddenly becomes a de determinant for your choices. Potty grabs the bees and does flea flip flips in midair with no safety net. Woo! Where, where's, where's the threat? She faces the audience, ready for the applause. Oh god, it's them. Woo! That chick's a ghost! She can't die! Where are the stakes? Yeah, boo! Why ain't she sexy Leotard? Give us ass or give us death. Oh great, the wolf pack's here. Can't wait to hear them mansplain how to hang from a trapeze correctly. No, oh, they say that. What? what if you hung from the trapeze in a way that makes you art? Is that makes you show more ass? Give us ass! Oh, I think today's the day I give your cousin's death, Scott. They asked for it after all. Yeah, bro, my cousins can be a lot sometimes, but bet we can woo them. Bro! Uh, what if I do the act? I'm no ghost, I can him down to die. I stinks. Oh, uh, no way, you found me, bro. I'm chasing your ass with me, weird. That, that, that's a sentence. Yeah, you found me, bro. You die, you won't be dope. What about you what? We were going to hold I am not reading that. <laughs> <laughs> they make a good point. This is up to you. How much did you up to stake to rule the audience with your acrobatic skills on your ass? God damn it. You know, we're to do it enough to do it with no net. So, what about using a net made of very itchy material? If you fall, it will be very itchy. No net, no hands. No net does breeze. You just jump from a 60 foot platform into a painful but hilarious fall. Eh, let's see. You know what? Let's go full tilt, baby. No net, no trapeze. Oh, bros, oh, you see this shit? You see what? Seriously, you're gonna do an act without the freeze? Oh, bro, that's super dangerous and dumb. What, what means it? Which means it's amazing. Oh, God, my throat. Yeah, it's amazing how often cool things and dumb things overlap. Makes me feel all better about being so dumb. Right, what's happening now? I've got a ghost. Ghost with the rocket, rocket boobs trying to talk to what I was doing. Mm -hmm. Go yeah, on, Scott! Why were you trying to put a stop to this awesome danger? I, I, you. <sighs> blah, 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 blah. Dumb shit, dumb shit, dumb shit. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. He slipped on the peel, falling from the front, blah, 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 blah. Was it all part of the act? Maybe a little bit of time to not to jump. He's slipping up here. Fake his out. Blah, blah. Well, of course, your emotions. Do, 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 do. Good news again. Plus six hype. And oh, no. 
Minus six stamina from all those broken bones. Damn. Okay, having hope in the, on the team is not, may not be the best idea. Well, hope is going to just drain magic, but not stamina. Oh, yeah. We, uh, we need to look at getting some stamina. Yes, we do. There's some stamina right there, too. Dude. Yes. And we can even afford to lose some hype if it costs us some hype. Oh, yeah. 